This video is to show how to rebuild the Hyundai Accent manual transaxle. Install spacer ring on the center case. The spacer ring is used to minimize the play clearance of the differential assembly. You can increase the thickness of the spacer ring if it is needed. Now, install the axle bearing race. On the side of the center case, install a spacer ring to minimize the movement and to avoid play on the side of the output shaft. Now install the axle seal. Check the oil seal marking. The LH seal marking must install on the center case or left side of the transaxle. On the clutch housing, install the axle bearing race. Next is the oil guide. Followed by the front, output shaft bearing race. Now install the axle seal on the clutch housing. Remember the seal with RH mark, install it at the right side of the transaxle. Now proceed to rebuild the main gears, clean the input and the output shaft oil holes. The first is to install the front input shaft bearing. Apply oil to all bearings and all sliding parts of the transmission. Now install the third speed gear. Install the third synchronizer ring. Install the third and fourth gear hub. Check the gear hub oil groove position. Install the third and fourth gear synchronizer sleeve. Place the tapered side facing the third speed gear.
Now install the third speed gear in the synchronizer ring. Don't forget to install the washer before the bearing. On the output shaft, first is to install the output shaft bearing. Now install the first speed gear in the synchronizer ring. Install the first and second gear hub. Check the position of the gear hub oil groove. Install the first and second gear synchronizer sleeve. The geared side of the synchronizer sleeve will face the second speed gear.
Install the synchronizer ring in the second speed gear. Install the third counter gear. Protect the output bearing. Put washer on the shaft. Pressure to the bearing may cause damage. Install the fourth counter gear in the rear output shaft bearing. Now install the differential assembly. And now install the drive gear assembly. Insert the magnet into the cage at the bottom of the clutch housing. Install the input bearing retainer to the clutch housing. Shift the gear to second gear to allow clearance where to install the bearing retainer screw. Install the reverse and fifth fork rails. Install the gear control shaft holder and the reverse shift fork assembly. Now install the reverse idler gear and the idler gear shaft assembly.
on top of the idler shaft, align the threaded hole facing the idler bolt hole on the center case. Make sure that the installed gears are in the proper position before installing the center case. Install the oil channel to the center case. Now install the center case to the clutch housing. Align the reverse idler gear shaft thread hole to the center case bolt hole. Install the shift rail deepen plunger to the center case. Before installing the gear shift control, make sure that all gears are shifted to the neutral position. Align the selector device straight to the shift rail drive lugs. Now install the gear shift control shaft. Install the fifth counter gear. And now install the fifth gear speed assembly. Set up the fifth synchronizer sleeve to the fifth gear hub, then insert the shift fork. And now install the fifth gear set into the input shaft.
install input shaft lock nut. Install center case cover. Install clutch fork and the release bearing. Install speed kilometer sensor. Install reverse switch. Hope this video will help. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.